Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. All right, so today's video, I got here a throttle body gasket for an F23. I got a throttle body gasket here for, a, for an H22. As many of you guys know, the F23 throttle body is really tiny. It's like a six, or 56 or 58 millimeter, I can't remember on the top of my head. And the H22 one I believe is a 60 to 62 millimeter. So it's a slightly bigger. We're gonna try and do the H22 throttle body on the Accord and stuff. And we're gonna address a few little things that we need to address on the Accord. So that's what we're doing in today's video. And a few other little things, guys. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a banger. All right, guys, and another thing I wanna show you guys, the hood risers, all the hardware, oops, didn't mean to click that, and the clutch line. As you can see, it all says shipped. And it all is out for delivery today. So all that shit should be here today for the Accord. So when that comes in, we can go ahead and get the clutch line put on, bleed that clutch, and hopefully have a good working pedal, no leaks, no nothing, and we'll be good there. And then we can go ahead and put all that hardware on there, make this bay look a little better. You know we have a bunch of F23 blocks here. I think I got three F23 blocks and the H22 block. So we got that F block, we got F block here, we got another one in there, and then the one in the car, so four in total. I went ahead already and ordered stuff to build that engine, the rods and stuff for it. I already ordered those. Um, I pulled up here in a second to show you guys. We ordered the case tuned um, rods for it. And I'm about to get a hold of the CSS place, um, Cylinder Support Systems, and talk to them about setting a block out to get CSS so we can have a block ready for 700 horsepower. I know the K -tune, or the case tuned rods are good for about 600 or so. So <clears throat> we'll be around the limit of the rods and the block guard, but I'm not trying to make six, 700 horsepower just cause you know, you gotta do other stuff to be able to support that power, you know, and we'll be snapping axles and stuff. But if I can make 500, 550 consistent, I guess, and you know, good where I can beat on it and street driving and still be good. I'm still waiting on a few more things coming for the Accord, the Honda, all that kind of stuff. So we're not sleeping on this build, guys. When I tell you we're not sleeping on this build, we're not sleeping on it. I've been telling you guys this and I'm not joking. We're gonna make it happen. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that I did order those rods, as you can see right here. And I'm gonna set this down again. F23 connecting rods arrives on the 16th. So, I did go ahead and order those already. I'm debating if I should get another set of ARP head studs and just reuse the ones I have in this engine. Bearings, the rods. Um, talked to a couple companies and stuff who can get me the best price on pistons. I was gonna go through K's tuned, or KS tuned, whatever you wanna call them, for pistons and stuff, and get, uh, what is it, the Weisco pistons. So, they're about 700 bucks, I believe, for the pistons, which, you know, it's not bad, <clears throat> but, I want to see what company, what pistons I want to run. I've talked, I've been talking to a couple people on Facebook and Instagram that's built F23s and stuff, and get their advice on what they like for pistons and stuff. Because I don't want to spend all this money on pistons, and you know they're not a good piston or this. I know white schools are great pistons, but I know everyone has their preference on what they like. So I just want to go through with some people that's already built these engines and have their experience with certain pistons so we can make the right choice on those. I've also had a few people ask, telling me why don't I run H22 rods and pistons in the F23 block? Well, here's an H22 rod and piston. Here's an H22 block, okay? As you guys see, this piston fits in the H22 block because that's where it came from, you know? But if you look over here on the H23, or F23, it does not fit in the F23 block. Even though the F23 is a 2.3 liter and the H22 is a 2.2 liter, the bore of an H22 is bigger than the F23. <clears throat> the H22 has the 86 millimeter bore. <clears throat> the F23 has an 85 millimeter bore. And just to prove you guys right now that I'm sure you guys know this already and it's all over the interweb and everything, I went ahead and got me a digital caliper. So we are going to show you guys right now 
the difference in the bore size, which isn't much, but it's enough to not have the clearance to run H22 pistons in it. 86. So <clears throat> that's the one I honed out a little bit because it had that scuff mark in it. And you come over to the F series block, 85. The bore sizes are different on the two blocks, even though the displacements is different. You know, it's just some weird reason. I don't know why, but I'm sure somebody will and let me know down in the comments. The crank for the H22 is a 90.7 millimeter stroke, and then the H or the F23 is a 97 millimeter stroke. So. <clears throat> That is the difference between the H and the F. Not much difference. You can run the H series pistons in the block, but what's the point? You know, everyone just does K1s if they want to stay with like a stock style piston, but we're going completely forging it. You don't have to do cranks on these unless you're doing like a stroker kit because they're pretty much hardened and everything and forged already. So they're strong crank. No one really ever replaces cranks in them. Same thing with like an H22. A lot of people don't really do cams in them because you can make plenty of power with stock cams unless you just want like the RPM and the lobby sound, you know? I'm keeping the stock F23 crank and I'm gonna be running the K2 piston rods. And then I'm gonna go ahead and look for a set of pistons. We'll order that and go from there. And also we're gonna be building the H22 head to later on after we push the limits of the stock block, we'll do the head on it and then go from there. So. Should be a lot of fun, a lot of experimenting, and plenty of content. We're just waiting on parts to come in. That's where we're at with this, guys. But we are building an F23 block and shoot for some power. You know, we have the, the pump, we got the injectors, um, we got the four bar mount sensor, so we'll have plenty of room for boost. We got the Mac valve, we got the Honda Auto coming. We got a lot of stuff coming for the Accord, so we'll be making power here shortly for it. I'm also talking to Action Clutch about getting a clutch set out to me because this one I don't sure is, I'm not sure it's gonna hold the power that I want it to hold and this clutch is pretty much toast um, we threw it in the Civic this F23 when we threw it in the Civic and we separated we noticed it was missing chunks in it but we're just getting it in the car to get the car running and tuned and then get a clutch and then we'll do the clutch and the remain seal and all that at the same time when we did the built engine and see how long that lasts and then as for this, I was overlaying this gasket over this, and they look pretty close and similar. There's no difference in the size on them. So I'm gonna do some research. Maybe there's a certain H1 that is bigger, but the throttle body on this H series looks really small. So I gotta see if it's like a J-Spec H series thing, or if it's like an A1 or A4s or whatever, you know? So yeah, we're probably gonna be doing that. Throttle body swap yet. I want to do some research, find the right throttle body, find everything that I need to do that swap. But <clears throat> that is going to be it for this video, guys. I know it's just a talking video, but I want it to be a header video for you guys so I can try and be consistent with these uploads and stuff. So I figured I'd just make a video, talk to you guys about the difference from the H block, the F block, and letting you guys know we do have parts on the way to build the F23 so we can make some power. And hope you guys are excited. For that build and if you are please show me by smashing that like button last video I asked for 20 likes and you guys crushed that one so let's go ahead and try and hit 40 likes on this video I know you guys can do it because we got over 20 likes in the last video I'm sure you guys can do 40 likes on this one because everybody's been asked for a built F23 block how many people out there built F23 is not many there's a few of us but not many so be excited for it I know I have some CG fans out there so please smash that like button for me guys. Please share these videos. Maybe you have not yet subbed to the channel. Please sub to it because big things are about to start happening on this channel for the Accord. So <clears throat> with that being said guys, please stay tuned for tomorrow's video when we do this work that we're going to be doing on the Accord today. And we're probably going to do a little work on the blog too. So stay tuned for the next video, all right? But with that being said guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification button so y'all get notified when we post. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!